Hello everybody. Okay, uh, good morning everyone and we are a team now team. Our app uh, solution is called Iswara app. Alright, so let's go, let's get started. We all know that it is important not to lose as much possible rice yields. For we know that rice seedlings are too sensitive for uh, too much wetting and too much drying. Over the years, farmers used the technique uh, alternating uh, wetting and drying. But according to Dr. Elizabeth Hambries, for she said that anybody can do alternative, alternate wetting and drying. But the question is, how do you do it safely so you, so you don't lose any yields? So for this, for this problem, we come up for a solution that Ah, yeah. The current, the current solution that the farmers use right now, they use the filled water tube wherein they bury the tube and then manually, manually measure the water level of the soil. So, so we come up for this solution. It is a two-part solution that automatically reads the soil level. Uh, it's not the moisture level, but the, the level of the water under the soil. Two-part the, our system has two parts. The sensor part for this presentation it is just a basic sensor. And then the application part wherein it uses the data that reads uh, from the sensor reading so that the farmers or researchers can, uh, can build up actually other applications on top of the, those data for research or for better decision making. So, come on. Uh, okay, so. To better understand how our application works, we can, in, we can uh, install main, uh, numbers of these sensors uh, around, the, uh, around the fields. So we can create many of these and then it's connected to microcontroller, something, something like this. Uh, 50 of these can, can, can be designed to connect to one micro, microcontroller. Then this microcontroller is responsible to send its data to the cloud. So how maybe... Uh, it, uh, we can send the data via SMS, but for this presentation, we use this lap, laptop's internet connection so we can transport the data to the web. So our mobile app can use that data. This is our mobile application. As you can see, uh, I, we hope that farmers can visually understand this. Uh, we can see later in our mobile app that this level is color blue, meaning this is the wet part and the uh, upper is the dry one. So for the demonstration, Okay, so let's see our, oops, okay, this is our mobile app. So we need to, uh, so to better understand our application, okay. we need to bury our sensor under the soil. So currently it has an initial reading, then we need to connect, have the connection, all right? So, as so we can see, the water level is in below 4 inches from the water surface. So, so, better, so, when the farmers decide that we need to irrigate the soil because it is going down, it's dangerous for the rice field. So, for example, the, for the farmers irrigate the, the soil, okay, they irrigate it. So, we are expected that the water display there should rise up. So to better understand, we refresh our application here. We refresh it, hopefully it loads the data. Okay, so we see that it works. Yeah. All right, so I'm so glad it works. Okay, so the benefits are like, can we view again this present the other? All right. Go, go. <laughs> uh, for the benefits, no longer to manually check the water level uh, twice a week for the farmers. And also, it automatically, uh, automatically saves sensor reading for research data. When the data is in the cloud, we can invite developers to actually, hey, man, build an application, use this data. So, statistically, mathematically, so we, can, we come up for, for uh, uh, better insights for those data. And of course, it's instantaneous, and we hopefully build the local sensors, uh, the low sensors here locally, so it is more cheaper and more more uh, more opportunity for the Filipinos. Future possibilities of our application: we are 
we aim to, to integrate other sensors data, I sensors to this application. For example, we can get the data uh, of temperature, moisture, wind, and others. We believe that getting those data automatically will will be a big lift for all of us. So, yeah, we believe in that. <laughs> <laughs> and more especially, the connection of the, our system prototype here, it just borrowed the internet connection of this laptop, but uh, for the implementation design, actually we need an SMS connection to transmit the data. Because we understand that Wi-Fi connection in the field is not accessible. But the mobile uh, frequency is available, uh, so it is better to use the SMS. Okay, so I think time's up. All right, we're just in time. Thank you very much. All right. Can we now have the questions of the judges? Two minutes. How do you connect the sensors to the, to the blue box? Ah, uh, yeah. So this sensors has a different level of uh, sensitivity for water. Then it is connected to the ports. Why? Why connection? Yeah, connection. But the design is every, for example, every half half hectare, half, half hectare, hectares, we can uh, uh, put a microcontroller in every half hectares. So we then. Yeah. That could be very costly. So the design is sensor is connected wired to the microcontroller and then the microcontroller is is uh, transmitting its data uh, through GSM. So in that sense I think that's more visible for all of us. So it depends on the implementation, more on research part for the improvement. Is there other questions for our yeah, uh, sir? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great for me because I'm not... Uh, oh, yeah, sorry, how much is it? Yeah. Oh, okay, for the sensors, as you can under see that this is the frame that we use on the lampshade. Uh, this is one of the sensors like this. Then when I walk in the Ace Hardware, I saw this and I think I can hack this. So, I think uh, the sensor may cost we, we must produce this less than 200 because just we need to Im improvise the sensor because it is built for the water but the design for, for soil we will use a sponge just to absorb the water um, it takes time a uh, little time to take a research on that but it's not possible it, it may, it, it, it's possible in design, so it's, so, it's very very possible yeah. So uh, the, the, the setup is uh, from sensor to microcontroller uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. wires, then from microcontroller to data sender, which is uh, the, the laptop or wire or uh, it is wireless. wireless. So we, if we take this off, this okay. microcontroller has a built-in GSM on this, and this is the one capable of transmitting the data GSM. Then that GSM receives from a server through a uh, smart API it receives the data. Then that data is now available for use in the cloud. For this instance, what we did is we transmit the data on Twitter. As we can see, this the uh, we parse this data sector number 18. That's the plot number 00001. One is the level of the moisture. Then we just parse that so that our web application, because a lot of tutorials right now can mobile uh, mobile tutorials. Uh, teach how to read data from Twitter. So we utilize that. So, okay, time's up. I think we're just in time. Thank you very much for this opportunity to meet my girlfriend, partner. Happy anniversary, and we celebrated with you. Thank you, guys. Love you.